Hello and welcome back to Break New World Blindfolded, where as usual I planned for 90% of the segment and the 10% I wasn't expecting to be difficult ends up killing me. And into the inn. I know there's a free bed in the relic shop, but it's faster to work up 100 kill than to walk all the way up there, so I'm just going to do it this way. Get out of bed, you lazy bums. Up at the crack of dawn. One, two... There really was my navigation that got me last time. I got distracted. One, two, three, four... Taking the fourth step down. Maybe Albatross isn't the best rage to be using on the belt considering but considering it's causing me to mix up what's blowing up on me and what isn't. I ended up against an actual Albatross. That ended up hitting me hard as well. But I thought it was bombs blowing up on me, so I got scared. Alright, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll go one extra one just because I wasn't sure one of those. Uh, I pressed down the button hard enough on one of those steps. Okay, these are ant lions and land rays. Which means fireball's not gonna be overly effective. At least not against the uh, ant lions. However, the ant lion appears to have been the only thing. I mean, the land race appears to have been the only thing that was alive at that point. So, walking downwards, still. Made it all the way to the bottom, that's good. One. Thankfully, once my memory cursor is set up, I just have to mash A with the uh, gallon cyan. I hear lots of things dying, which is a good sign. I mean, it's a bad sign if my own characters are dying, but thankfully I can't hear that. One, two... Yay, finally. That wasn't hard as, I, as hard as I was making it look. Of course, I do have my eyes closed, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I... hopefully I got the navigation bugs in this room out of my way during the LLG because I'd prefer not to mess up here now. Yeah, good. I'm in the cutscene where I get a tonic. And unlike the LLG, that's actually pretty useful in Brave New World. Old tonic is kinda nifty just to get it for free. All the way to the right. All the way up. There's a little dimple in the path here, which is annoying because I have to go around it. This whole area is really, really messy and kind of hard to just remember, so... Recoveries are pretty much impossible in here. 
there's just always that little spot, like always those little gaps where you could have run into or have just that one weird little thing blocking your way, like here, where I should be running into the bridge, which, I mean, it's like right there, it looks like I can step on it, but can't. There we go. Hooray, I get a large shiny, 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 shiny thing. Now I'm going to jump into a river. That's called intelligence. Alright, so there are a few options for Gao's rage during this segment. Um, there's just none that particularly stand out as being just perfect for it, though. Like, everything's got just something wrong with it. Um, Raven is a nice single target attack that kills things, but it makes him weak to thunder, so Megavolt's like a one-hit KO, which is bad. There's also, uh, Crawler, which is immune to thunder, but on the other hand, it kind of doesn't do anything in return. So basically it'll keep me alive, but not accomplish much. The one I, ch I chose Hornet, and the, pro the only downside to that really is that I have to keep him in the front row, and it uses slow 2 every other turn. Albatross and Leafer do a lot of damage overall, but the damage isn't useful because Cyan and Sabin are single target monsters, so they're mostly just one hit KOing stuff. So getting in a little damage edge wise and one over killing the thing extra isn't very helpful. So that's why I'm going with Hornet instead. However, it appears that Cyan failed to kill something there. Now that I've got my memory cursor set up, it's all nice and easy. Of course, slow two is mostly a waste of turn. Thankfully, I can now suplex these Aspirins. And I suppose I just called them something that doesn't make sense in terms of the context of Brave New World or the LLG. Oh, that didn't... Oh, crud, Gav got Megavolt. Oh, good, he lived! That's a good thing, obviously, but... I was half expecting him to be dead if that first Megavolt or enough physical attacks hit him. Now, I should hit the thing anytime soon. Alright, I hit the thing, as I so eloquently put it. Take my nice opportunity to heal. All the way up to the top. Thankfully the Serpent Trench is pretty easy to navigate. All I've got to have is like the vaguest idea of where I'm going in my head and I can cut to where I want to go. Alright, so more battles. Possibly. Probably. I think it has to be. Really. I think there's one mandatory between the first and second cave. I shouldn't have kept going with that in case it was Cyan. I hope I didn't mess it up. I think I may have. Not sure what that was. Hopefully nothing important. Well, Seven didn't move, so I'm suspecting... Stop? Yeah, I think one of these things has a stop move. And like I was saying during my LLG, thank goodness uh, both these caves are on the right, because finding the left would be pretty difficult. Wow, 
Wow, I didn't even take a hit. That's pretty good. While these caves are pretty easy to navigate, well, actually, recovery sh should be at least somewhat easy in here, too, because I should, uh, be able to guess my way to a spot that I know and then just recover from there, for the most part. I think the next room will give problems if I mess it up. Thankfully, I at least have this water-draining portion to let me know where I am. I find it most effective when I'm doing this to only press one button at a time because uh, that way it's easiest to work out where I'm going beforehand when I'm planning. I knew in, I know in Mount Colts I ended up having a fail because of uh, one of the runs. I, I just started mashing up and left and ended up one space, two spaces away from where I was supposed to be. And that ended up uh, causing a fail, so that's when I stopped really going up and left randomly mo for the most part. Alright. So yeah, I made it into this room just fine. I know that because I pressed the menu button during the screen transition. It was pretty easy to time there. So, one, two. Yippee. I got a thing. I don't even know if it's good. I have absolutely no idea what's in that chest, to be honest. I know it's a green bray in the original, but... There's my door. It could be anything from a random consumable to, like, some dumb relic. I don't... Remembering it, I don't remember it being especially amazing. That's just the vibe I get from that chest. Like, I tend to re remember how useful the item in the chest is more than I tend to remember uh, what's in the chest. If that makes any sense. Should be getting to Nikea any second now, probably. There's not usually a battle between the exit of this cave and the town. And I think I made it here, because the music's going on for quite a while. Here we go. Make sure I wait for the screen to fade in. Alright, one step to the left. Up the staircase. I could go buy stuff from an Ikea. But, on the other hand... I really want, don't want to go through Nikea, <laughs> so I'm just gonna be out of here. Should be at the barrels by now, almost. And now I'm... I hope they didn't swap the order of the text commands. Alright, let's press the menu button just to make sure I'm in the conversation. Okay, good. No, no order swapping. I mean, I know you guys uh, swapped it with the airship commands, which is really nice. I noticed it right away because I did what I always did and pressed the wrong button. And then I was like, wait a minute, this isn't the wrong button anymore. <laughs> And I'm still using the wrong pronoun, I'm still saying thing when I should be saying you, but <laughs> that's because I'm just used to talking about talking about some vague game developer off somewhere, like Nintendo or Square or somebody. I suppose it depends on who exactly is watching the video at the moment, though, because uh, it would be a they, I suppose, if I was talking to some random person.
I've really got nothing better to say. <laughs> Here comes Cyan and Co. And I'm not sure why I say Cyan and Co, because most people would refer to it by Savin and Co, probably, but... At least I didn't say Gow and Co. Quick, which is the most important character in the game? Gow, clearly. He's the main character of Final Fantasy VI. Here comes... Celeste and Co. Deliberately saying Celeste. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Be careful, Cyan. Gav doesn't have that much HP. Here comes the army! probably transition to my characters right now, having awkward dialogue conversations with Celeste. Alright, well, here I am, my destination. And that's the end. So, see you next time. 18 and a half minutes. Oh, that's it. Well, okay then. Alright, so it appears I've made it down to the bottom. Hopefully the bottom really is the bottom. I'll back up three steps. You know, I can even go fourth. Shouldn't be. I think seven is dead. Or maybe it's just a... no. Okay, good, they all lived. Jeez, this is taking a real toll on my dried meats. I wasn't expecting to get so many bomb encounters. On both runs, no less. Alright. Two, three, four. I don't know it's taking a toll on my dried meats. It shouldn't make a difference, theoretically, because I'll get far more money that I waste on dried meats here. I think. Yeah, but it really doesn't matter anyway, because I did something wrong already, so... Oh wow, I was only like two steps off. If only I had known.